Pharmaceutical manufacturing has mushroomed. Consumers ask for medications they see advertised on TV. Scientists are finding new ways to treat disease, and doctors are writing more and more prescriptions. But what happens to all that medication when it isn't used or when it's expelled from our bodies into the wastewater system? Should we be concerned? Many experts say yes. There is growing evidence that medication waste is leaching into our soil, our waterways, and even our drinking water. Joe Kreisberg heads an organization that's trying to stop medication waste. He began a medication drop-off program at several pharmacies and medical offices in Northern California in June 2007. Of what we're collecting, what we see is that um, consumers are throwing out 55% of what they purchased of over-the-counter medications. Of the prescribed medications that we take back, because there's lots of non-controlled prescribed medications, 45% are being thrown out unused. If you do the math, we're talking about a lot of weight. If you think your medicine cabinet has a lot of pills in it, think of the amount of medication that makes its way through a hospital. And think about how much of it has to be thrown out. Robert Hun is a safety officer at the University of California at San Francisco Medical Center. He makes sure that all the unused medication is disposed of correctly from the nurse's locked medication room to the bin where it's placed to the dock outside where it's secured until a medical waste hauler loads it on a truck and takes it away. Previous to all this, you would just put waste drugs either down the sink or you'd put them in the normal trash and you wouldn't have to worry about it. We probably dispose of 1,500 pounds of pharmaceutical waste a week. That's about 78,000 pounds of medication waste a year from just one hospital. Where does that waste go? Transporting companies like Rick Vasquez's Integrated Waste Control take it on the rest of its journey to an incinerator or to a treatment plant for decontamination. When our drivers pick up waste uh, that's properly packaged, of course, uh, they secure it and it's triple contained inside a container and put inside their permitted truck and they transport that to our licensed transfer station for consolidation. And then from here it gets repackaged into larger containers and put onto trailers which go to a uh, treatment facility. And then from there it goes into a landfill as its final disposal. Another source of medication waste is what's excreted from humans and ends up in our wastewater treatment plants. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, about 100 personal care products and pharmaceuticals, such as antibiotics and estrogen from birth control pills, can't be filtered out and show up in our drinking water. Scientists haven't been too concerned about the levels to date, in part because they are minute, but they've seen the effect on aquatic life. Bruce Mackler is a drinking water toxicologist with the EPA. Estrogens have been... Uh, implicated in sex changes in, in fish, feminization of fish and of frogs, and we're trying to get a better handle on it. What's of concern is what chemicals that are released uh, are doing the, these effects and what are the concentrations that are important. I think where this is being, this is of more concern has to do in the animal industry, in the feed industry, where folks are raising cattle, dairy cattle, or meat cattle using a fair amount of antibiotics and hormones as well. And the wastes from the cows can just get onto the ground and be washed into uh, source waters. Well, on a mass basis, the total amount of material that's getting out there in the environment, the rough numbers are suggestive that that's a more of a problem than we realized. Nevertheless, Mackler says currently there is no evidence that pharmaceuticals and drinking water pose any threat to our health. At this time, it doesn't look to be a, much of a problem for most of these pharmaceuticals directly for human health. Now, that said, 10 years from now, we may know more. 10 or 20 years from now, we may know more. But today, we can help protect ourselves and our kids from possible risks by not throwing unused medications in the trash or down the toilet. Otherwise, there's no telling where it will end up.